Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about what I have been wearing while I've been here in London. I have indeed been here more than two months now so I'm about to head back to Zurich and I'm reflecting on what I have been wearing here. I find it really interesting. Honestly it's just turned out to be this like tiny capsule wardrobe and all the other stuff that I brought I never really got around to, or never actually got around to wear them with like a few exceptions here and there. When they say you wear 20% of your wardrobe 80% of the time. My god, is it true? And it is so clearly illustrated on like a, in a, like a small situation like this where like I literally brought a fraction of my wardrobe and still I end up wearing like a fraction of that. And this video is sponsored by Vivaya. I have done a couple of videos with them in the past, so really excited to be doing this video as well. Luckily for me, like halfway through my trip, they sent me like a box of a couple of pairs of shoes. So I have been wearing them for the past five weeks or so. And one thing I really love about Vivaya whenever I work with them is that they give me so much time to try out the shoes before I get to talk about them. Because of course, as you know already, uh, what we care about in the channel is how things wear and tear. And you know, if you like receive a gift and I have to talk about like how comfortable it is, but I don't get to test it over time, it's it's difficult to talk about it with the same conviction. And Devaya is always happy to let me do that. They're very proud of their products. You know, they know that they do what they say. So that is really nice. So I'm really excited to get into that uh, a little bit uh, later, or I'm gonna get into that with every outfit pro uh, pretty much. They are a sustainable brand. Their shoes are made from recycled materials and also the bags as well. They do also sell, sell a couple of other things now, but basically the whole point is like innovation, coming up with something that is sustainably made, but also really uh, beautiful designs and that first and foremost is really comfortable. So, you know, it's really nice because if you find a design on there you really, really like, then you know for at the very least, you know, you don't have to question the comfortability of the shoe. So if you need something like in the middle, I am also thinking, for example, like the, the heels that I bought, if you're someone who like works in office, these are such a great option to wear nice footwear, but actually not, you know, suffer the consequences. When I first got here, the weather was significantly warmer. So I was wearing like the few, few. I was wearing like the pieces I had that were like appropriate for summer, but then quickly it got just a little bit, just a little bit colder. And then I have been pretty much wearing like, yeah, the same outfits for this entire time. It has been in a way that like the first couple of weeks I have slowly been adding some things here. So I started like substituting the things I wore in the beginning with things again that I have added here. And yeah, all of a sudden I have curated this like legitimately tiny wardrobe and it's all that I wear. And yeah, it's just so ironic because like I have to bring my new things with me home. I actually end up having to like send uh, send a package back to Switzerland because I can't have all of it with me. And borderline ridiculous because most of the things I brought with me, I haven't used anyway, but it just is what it is. You live and you learn. I want to get into the outfits I have been wearing. Again, it's le legitimately been so few and it's because like, here are the things that I have been wearing as part of this like slowly built tiny wardrobe that I've made. The a black turtleneck, white turtleneck, black strappy top. It's actually a bodysuit, but top. Black jacket, new one. Brown jacket, new one. Denim jacket, the old one from H&M. I've been wearing that loads. Black pants, black skirt, denim skirt, and jeans the new jeans and also a new denim skirt. And then for shoes, uh, I've been wearing the, and we're gonna talk about the boots from Vivaya, the flats from Vivaya, and the a pair of heels from Vivaya that I haven't gotten around to really wear that much the heel, I'll be honest. And on top of that, I have also just started wearing the curated coat. Oh my God, I'm so happy to bring it back out, but legitimately I haven't even like worn, for example, like the Burberry trench coat or the denim trench coat. Complete waste of space and, um, and weight to to bring them but you know c'est la vie then i have also been wearing uh, a pair of trainers that i bought when i was when i was here uh, really cheaply and then of course also my black boots it's just full disclosure but i am going to show the outfits with the vivaya shoes so i think honestly maybe i'll just get into like what i have been wearing like the very most so <laughs> An outfit I legitimately like multiple times a week all the time is 
black turtleneck with the denim skirt in question. I actually also bought another denim skirt when I was here and I wore it in the beginning when it was really warm, but then when it got a little bit colder and like tights were needed, then I transitioned into wearing this skirt instead. And oh my God, I love it so much. Like I think it is just, yeah, I don't know. It just suits my style really well. I've been really happy with it. I have legitimately worn it like 20 times and I got it like six weeks ago. So I'm super happy with it. I'm gonna talk a little bit more in detail about like how many times I've been wearing things uh, in the next wardrobe updates. So if I'm wearing this skirt, I'll be wearing it both for going out again, because it's a little bit, it's a little bit more casually the way you dress when you go out here. I mean, then there's also the other extreme, but just, at least how I have been going out, you know, it's sort of like smart casual instead of like a more posh vibe that I would be going out with or how I would dress for like going out for drinks or dinner in Zurich. So I have been wearing the skirt loads and then either with the black turtleneck or if it's like a more casual wear, then I would wear it with the black turtleneck and then I would wear it with like whatever jacket I just feel like. So either the black jacket, the brown jacket, or also the denim jacket. I absolutely love the denim jacket with this denim skirt because it looks like they were made for each other. So the skirt is Sarah, but the, the jacket is H&M. But again, like they still look so good together. So in this outfit that I'm showing you right now, I am actually wearing a pair of pointed toed heels from Vivaya. And I wanted to get these last time I made a video with them as well. I ended up getting just like more standard pieces because you know I was still trying to like uh, fill up in that regard but this time I got the heels because I love a pointy toed moment I have a pair of like kitten heels from another stories that I tend to wear a lot but there is quite often where I will have to skip on them because they're just not that comfortable to wear and a lot of like what I do is walking from place to place it's just like I, I you know to a certain extent and you're a European thing and it's really you know it's it's not that often that I'm willing to like sacrifice comfort to look the the best I tend to then go for like the next be best options which is usually like my black pointy toed boots but these are sort of like the perfect middle ground they are very preppy looking i will say because you know of course like it is a heel but they are so comfortable so if you're already familiar with the flats that they have it's basically this is just in my own words but it's the same concept but then of course like with a heel and i don't know what it is but i feel like i'm as leveled when i'm walking as i am in like the literal flats flats like you cannot tell a difference. So these have been really comfortable. Again, I haven't been wearing them loads because I tend to just have been wearing more casual footwear here. Even if I have been going out, like for example, the kitten heels, I haven't even read, no, that's not true. I wore them one day when I first got here and then I sort of caught on to the fact that like everyone else were wearing like either trainers or uh, <laughs> boots at most. So yeah, I haven't like really been wearing preppy footwear, but I'm really excited to bring these back home with me to Zurich. And Vivaya have this like signature look, which is this sort of like woo-woo type of thing. You know, their shoes are made from recycled materials, which is what makes them so unique. But they have this like woo-woo look, which in the past on some of the shoes I've received, I've always felt like it was a little bit much. Like you have to be into like the kind of like sock boot look to really enjoy the aesthetic but i really feel like that has changed like the woolen fabric is like it's significantly smaller now so it just looks a little bit more sleek and especially when you have the the black shoes you can't tell at all like what the material is made of and it is literally just like so buttery soft and then of course the insole is sort of like what makes or breaks the shoe but we're going to talk about the insoles again a little bit later because if you are familiar with the flats they have updated the the sole but anyway we'll get to that so for this you know skirt again like this is an outfit i have been pretty consistently wearing and then if i'm going out like for example with these shoes when i'm i would be going out i am actually wearing like the bodysuit underneath it and then the black jacket on top of it it just makes it yeah it's a little bit more dressed up than the casual version of this outfit because again for the casual version of this outfit usually wear like the or i would only actually wear the black turtleneck and then um, another look I really, really love. Again, like a lot of it is just gonna center around the same pieces because that's how I dress and how I wear my stuff. 
but then this outfit like black turtleneck and actually there I have also been wearing a white turtleneck but I do wear the white turtleneck minimally with this denim skirt because the denim skirt is actually a little bit lower rise that I want to with that what I'm used to and uh, black just have a different effect than white but either the black turtleneck or the white turtleneck and then this like brown uh, wool jacket that I also bought when I was here such a good look and then I wear them with these boots from Vivaya so this I'm really excited about you know this already but I've been looking for an extra pair of boots for a really long time and granted I'm just like on the lookout for like more black leather ones but I had to pick out shoes to wear and I ended up getting these like Regina square, square toed heels and I got them in a brown and I have been wearing them with like this is an exact outfit I mean you'll be seeing it on the screen as I'm talking about it but like the brown jacket together with these like brown shoes which had which has this like slight woo-woo uh, texture to them but again like it's almost as if the fabric has changed it becomes like more compact and they just look so good and they are so comfortable and the, this is actually kind of interesting because these are the only shoes from uh, Vivaya this time around that I've had to like you know I've had to walk in them a little bit before they got really comfortable they were just a little bit uh, they were just pressing on my toe a little bit but again like that went away like after like a day or two and after that they have just been like so comfortable and they're really tight to the angle which of course if you're a regular to my channel you know that that is something i really love yeah again like i have been really wearing these so much and they do say that they are water repellent but i have really been taking that to like an extra level and i have literally been walking through like puddles and like jumping around in these boots to sort of like try to like test them to their limit and they just dry right up they are i don't know it's like a water like a rain boot is it just a rain boot? Anyway, they're like a rain boot, but they're just a regular boot. Uh, I mean, I probably, you don't, don't like quote me on that actually, because that's not the selling point of the shoes, but that has been my personal experience and they look so good. I have been wearing only black footwear, you know that, for like the longest time. So I could have also gotten these in a black and got a lot out of them because again, they are so comfortable. I think they would have been like a valuable addition to my wardrobe also just in black. But because again, of course, they are gifted. I tend to be a little bit more daring uh, when I uh, accept gifts. So I did get them in brown and they are, yeah, they're just, they're literally so beautiful. Then something else I have been wearing a lot is this pair of jeans. I about when I was here or when I first got here and they are we've already talked about them in the other videos but I have actually been wearing them so much they are a lot more wide-legged than what I'm used to it's gonna be interesting to see going back to Zurich if I still want to be wearing them but I have been wearing them a ton here and then usually I will wear again like with either turtleneck or I will also be wearing uh, it, them with the black top like again it's just like mixing and matching like the few things that I've actually been wearing and then like like for this look like whatever jacket I've been feeling like wearing I have been just not the denim because I don't know the light denim with the with the darker denim it just doesn't look good to me it just clashes but here I want to talk about the flats because the flats from Vivaya are the areas they are known by everyone and their mother to be extremely comfortable. So I've had a couple of pairs in the future, but I never really got in, like I just never really got that into them. And it's usually because I just, I literally will wear boots or I will wear Birkenstocks. There's like nothing in between. But then I've also tended to be like a little bit, again, more like daring with the colors. Like I've got a white pair once, which had like a warm tone to them. And because of that, they were just never gonna work out for my wardrobe anyway. So this time I tried to be like more mindful of the actual color colors that I got because it would really be nice to have them work out because you know of course I'm always comfortable in my boots and I'm always comfortable in my Birkenstocks but it is sort of like it is annoying to not have something like in between that I'm also comfortable wearing so yeah it would be nice to have a couple of flats that look really good still that I would have the that I would actually be wearing so I ended up getting two of the areas so the ones that I had before were called the area fives and they were comfortable this time around so I ordered the area fives as I did the last time but instead my contact person for the brand did ask me if she could upgrade me to the uh, walker style which is it's still the area but instead of area five it's now called the walker basically they look exactly the same the colors are the same but they did just uh, change the outside and the inside sole a little bit for like uh, increased comfort which sounds so wild 
since they're already, you know, so known for being really comfortable. But, and still like very, very, very bouncy. So it's very like, the material feels really thick and like bouncy, but the actual sole is really, really skinny. And so it has this like absorbent in the in the heel as well, which li literally makes it feel like you're just walking on like nothing. Yeah, it's really one of those things where like, you can be w uh, walking extremely far in these and like never really get like painful towards the end of the day just because like everything is just getting so like every step you take is just absorbed by the soul and so this was like the upgrade that i promised to mention but i will just say i really feel like overall they are just more comfortable like i don't know like it could be that it's literally just like the soles that they've changed like it it says but i am just more comfortable in the shoe just immediately as soon as I put them on and I did get my regular size so anyway I got them in pink because and I also got them in brown because I felt like that would you know it would be it would be fun and then I also again like have something a little bit different and different color um, and the brown is a cool tone brown so that's good to know if you also have a cool tone wardrobe and again like the pinks I bought because like I think they'll be fun to have. So I have been wearing them here again because UK is just a little bit more cool girl style. So I've been wearing them like with my jeans and then like with a top and then a black jacket. And yeah, I've just been feeling like really cool in that. And then when I get home, I am gonna find a way to like pair them with my hot pink blazer. Like they're pretty much like literally the exact same hot pink. So they're gonna be a fun addition to have for sure. And again, if you are on the lookout for comfortable shoes and flats are your thing these are definitely an option I also just think they look better it's just again it's the same thing where like the the fabric is just more compact as of now so the look is less dis distinct so if you didn't really care that much for this like fabric look before then it definitely has improved and yeah again if you then pick them in black you can barely tell if at all then i have of course also been wearing my black skirt usually i'll be wearing like my black skirt this is the slit skirt and i'll be wearing it with like actually usually my white turtleneck when i wear that one and then like whatever jacket works at the time i also actually arrived here with a gray turtleneck which actually also like looks really good for the majority of the time i'll probably take a couple of extra pictures and then like put them in here just so you can see it with the gray as well i just find that towards the end i've usually just been reaching for like the black turtleneck or the white turtleneck but looks really really good and then the denim jacket on top of it uh, i think also like the reason is i've been so excited about like the new boots and the brown and the gray it just doesn't work that well together in my opinion but like then when i have been wearing like the gray turtleneck again the uh, the black skirt and then like whatever jacket and then a black uh, but the black pair of boots then yeah i am gonna show you like a like a, an outfit i mean i'm just gonna pop it out here up here with like the black trousers but honestly haven't even really been wearing them that much it's a little bit wild to like sit here and show you this and then wanting to like show you a bunch of outfits because i've literally like already filtered through like the ones that i have been wearing like this is pretty much what i have been wearing like the entire time i have just been re-wearing the same outfits like i've just been an outfit repeater while i've been here and it's so funny because again like i came with so many options because i didn't want to like limit myself and i had to like leave most of my wardrobe behind and i just like haven't needed anything i mean now that it's getting colder i miss some of my sweaters and stuff like that but like adding some new things i found a way to make it work and then like basically only wear these new things almost uh, almost i mean of course like with some oldies in there but yeah it's just wild how it's turned out and then actually the things that i've probably been uh, needing the most has been shoes so it's been sort of godsend that i was able to work with the via they have and i am actually this is not something I have to do. I just want to do it anyway. There are a couple of other options I found on the website, which is like, you know, whenever I have to uh, pick something, it's always so difficult because I want to pick like the things that I'm most likely to wear long term. But I also want to pick something that's a little bit more exciting again, because like it is gifted, but they have like, they really have some other things. They have these like nice new boots with like a skinny heel and like a pointed toe, which like I am definitely getting these if I get the option to like work with them again. Maybe I'll buy them if I find that it's really necessary. And then they also have some other heels that just like look so good. So I'm just gonna like pop that up on the screen so that you can have a look 
I am putting all of my links in the description below. I hope that you enjoyed this short and sweet, tiny like capsule video wardrobe from London. Once I am back, we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth about, I feel how my style has either changed or just been affected. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.